Utah's severe weather season really peaks in the middle of May through the middle of June. We see this a lot and we don't just get rain. We get thunderstorms, which can become very strong and usher in strong winds. But how does that actually happen in the atmosphere? Three ingredients are needed for a thunderstorm, moisture, instability and lift. It all starts with warm, unstable, rising air. When that happens, we get storm clouds. Our storm clouds don't just produce rain, thunder, and lightning. There's also significant wind associated with a thunderstorm. Storms have a strong updraft. This is when rain starts to form in the cloud. Then the updraft starts to weaken as rain falls. This allows for cold air to build up in the middle of the storm. Updrafts fuel a storm and downdrafts kill it. Downbursts can occur when that surge of cold air hits the ground. You've probably felt a downburst of air during a thunderstorm. Sometimes downbursts are so powerful they can kill. These winds have crashed planes and many times they cause an abrupt change in altitude. There are two types of downdrafts, macro and micro bursts. They're classified by size of the wind field, but don't be fooled by the name. Both can cause serious damage. Thunderstorms are pretty complex and can easily rise in severity. So during the storm season, we will show a risk scale so you know what to expect. Reporting in studio, I'm Alana Brophy. Back to you guys.